All right guys, so I've been wanting to get a welding table for quite a while now. Uh, I've been looking at a lot of different ones on different sites from different companies. And the problem is, is my garage isn't that big. So a really good welding table is usually, you know, like four by eight. And there are companies that make them a little bit smaller, but they can be on the expensive side. And then I found this welding table. This table comes from northerntool.com. It's made by Clutch. It's 36 by 24. It also comes with all of these clamps and holding fixtures. Uh, you can use it with or without legs. It can be a bench top style table. And this table comes in at just over $200 with shipping. I believe it's on sale right now for $169.99. And then it was about like $42 to ship it because it is heavy. It's like 75 pounds or so. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna unbox this thing and set it up and let you guys know what I think. later. Alright. Leave that. Takes care of that. Alright, so I got the table over here all situated where I want it. This is where I'm gonna leave it and it's real close to my air compressor so that'll be good for my plasma cutter and then my plan for the bandsaw is that when I'm going to use it, I'll actually wheel it out so that I can, if I have a long piece, it can go out the garage and then put it back over there. So it's not really impeding the bandsaw. I've got all the accessories laid out here, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing leveled up so that when I'm working, nothing's rolling around on me. All right, that's good enough for me there. We're pretty good. All right, make sure there's no wobble. Nope, it's pretty solid. All right. Okay, 
have I mentioned the, the temperature yet in this video? <laughs> I pretty much do it every one, so I figured I'd throw that in there. It's hot. Anyways, so we got all the accessories laid out here. Obviously, I'm going to have to get a different chair because this one's a little bit too low. And I don't really like how this shelf impedes you from like kind of getting under the table, almost like a desk. But anyways, um, it looks like we've got obviously, oh, we've got some clamps here. So we'll set this up if we can get the nuts started. There we go. So there's that. So that's adjustable by friction. And then we've got these little pucks that have like a V shape in them. Those look like probably if you were clamping down a, a pipe or something. Now here's, here's something I just noticed. That the clamp, okay, so it has to be on an angle. The, the distance from here to here is not the same distance as the holes in the table. So it doesn't line up. It's close, but it doesn't line up with the next hole. So I wonder how that's going to work. I'm going to grab a piece of pipe. So let's see. I hope you guys can see here. So move, move this stuff so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So you see how that clamp doesn't line up with that hole. It kind of lines up with that one, but it's not perfectly centered for that one. So like, what I'm saying is if this pipe is right here, you're clamping off to the side of it. But if you went on an angle, I guess, now that, okay, so that's, that's what they intend you to do, I guess, is you gotta go on an angle and then you can clamp that down. Okay, so that's how it works. I'm just unaware. At first I was like, how's that gonna work if that is up centered trying to clamp it down? So, well that's good to know. We're all learning stuff today. So that's the little V-shaped puck. And then there's some flat ones, and I'm assuming that that's just for like, square stock or something like that if you need a spacer. I mean obviously square stock you could clamp right to the table but maybe if you need to space it up a little bit and then it looks like they're stackable so if you need a spacer or something you can use those for that. And then we have these aluminum blocks and I think what these are designed for is uh, you got these threaded inserts and it's kind of nice because they're magnetic so they snap into the holes, but they go underneath. So that snaps into there. This little piece slides over that. Allen bolt threads through it. And then say you wanted to square it up, you'd run two of these. And tighten those down. That would give you like a stop you were doing like repeatable stuff, you know, you could uh, take your material, butt it up against there, have another one over here, say, to line it up this way, to do a T, and uh, use that as like a stop. It looks like these pucks are made so that you can put them in there too. So if you were to use it for, say, over here, yeah, that. And even that's not in the right spot. So we're gonna get it. We're gonna get this. So it would be like right here. Boom. Obviously, tighten those down. There, now you have that set up for whatever you would need that for. A lot of different combinations that you can use these for. Um, 
I'm gonna be honest in the picture, these looked a lot bigger. <laughs> they always look bigger in pictures. But uh, but still I think I think for a beginner table, this is gonna be perfect for me. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of space in here. Uh, I'm gonna be just doing a little kind of stuff here and there. Even if it's long, I can clamp it to the table and it can over, overhang off the side a little bit. Um, but this table has a 600 pound uh, limit and uh, I don't think I'll be doing anything over that. So my, my initial impression of this table is for the money, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's well worth the, the 170 bucks or 200 bucks with shipping uh, if you need a, just a beginner welding table. I don't think you could go out and buy the material and build this yourself for that because you'd have to find someone to cut these holes for you. Um, I'd reached out to a couple local companies to have one of these cut for me and they never got back to me so I just went ahead and bought this one. But yeah, like I said, it's a great beginner table. Uh, I can always upgrade from here but I think it's going to do perfect for what I need it to. I was going to pull out the welder and uh, do a couple test welds, but I think you guys get the point. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get some scotch bright and clean off all the, the scale rust that's already on here, and then probably uh, coat it with a little bit of WD-40 or some sort of, some sort of oil to uh, keep it from rusting further. But that does it for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this uh, helpful in your pursuit for a welding table. Um, like I said, it's made by Clutch. I got it at northerntools.com. I'm not sponsored or anything for this video. I just figured I'd share my opinion of this table. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.